y'all, I'm in the community, like, really. I'm like really in the community, out here in the snow. I'm like right across the street from Dorchester District Court. So you can understand why, you know, the, all of that stop snitching uh, on a t-shirt would, would, would offend somebody. So like I said, when you offend somebody, man, you gotta step back and, and, and check yourself. But moving on past that, I do a lot of good in this community right here. I've been, it's been my store for four years. I've been open up here, I've got best merchant of the year award for this whole strip. This is the first one I got when I opened my store back in 2001 for the best merchant in Cobham Square. This was received, I got this from Dorchester Bay Economic Development Corp and they gave me a loan to help me out when I first started out. In my first year, I, I, I was, I pulled in so much money in Cobham Square and brought so much new business to Cobham Square that they gave me um, um, the new Small Business of the Year Award. So that, that meant a lot to me because they really didn't want to give me the loan at first. But um, after after I kept coming back to them with my business plan and my proposals and my um, you know my financial breakdowns and everything, and also I had money of my own. I actually had more money of my own that they gave me for a loan, and I just put that together, and it, it meant a lot because it just made them see that that you know I could do it. But I needed to build credit, so I started going to my bank and it got turned down, started going to other banks, got turned down. Then they started telling me, you need to go to a, a community-based um, organization, small business. I ended up at Dorchester Bay, and they believed in my business plan. They believed in what I wanted to do, and they play a big part because they allowed me to get a loan. They were the first people to give me a loan to allow me to show that I can pay a loan back. That was a five-year loan. I paid it back in three. They gave me another loan that I'm working on now. This one, this was from Yo Boston, working with young kids, after-school program. This one, same thing, the Make a Difference program. I got that. This picture's here with when Lloyd Malloy was playing for the Patriots and Willie McGinnis. He still plays for the Patriots. We, we uh, made them all kinds of clothes all the time. Lloyd Malloy and Willie's two of my best customers. He used to play used for to the Celtics. Yeah, okay. So this picture is here with me, Roseanne, and Kenny Anderson. What what he got on is um this loungewear that we had created maybe about four or five years ago. And what it is is suede loungewear that you wear in the house. It's not pajamas that you sleep in, but it's like some real smooth ish, you know, that, that you can wear around the house. That's real fly if you, if you got money, you know, to, to do that. This right here is um, my modeling team. It's a modeling show we had in um, in Connecticut. We blew it up. We took a picture that day because we, we did it, you know, that was a family. Like my models, I treat them as, as family. And when we do a show, we, we, we keep it tight and we, we have fun and we, we do a lot of fun things. Go out to eat afterwards and celebrate. You know, just, just, just bond with each other. This award right here I got from GOAL. Um, GOAL stands for Greater Options for Adolescent Lives. Um, this was uh, part of the, the Making a Difference um, program. And this was a good, a good award, you know. All these awards that I get are for doing work with the younger kids, trying to teach the young and help these younger kids see, um, see a better way out. Trying to start some entrepreneurialism in there, some self-esteem and just get them on the same page with your success. This check here, this was the $20,000 check that I was telling you, Dorchester Bay gave me this check, then I had got the award. But this is this was a, a photocopy of the $20,000 check that they gave me back in 2001. And like I said, that was only 20,000, and I had maybe like 40, 50 of my own that uh, that I put into the, um, that I put into my, to my store now. All my jewelry at that time, I pawned all my jewelry. You know, like when it comes down to stuff like this, this is this is all material. It's cool to wear, it's cool to have, but I don't I don't get attached to it. And if I need to do something, if I need some money, this is in the pawn shop without without a blink of an eye to allow me to be able to do take that money, do what I gotta do, and then and then um, go back and get my jewelry. You know, I looked at it as like, can I go without my jewelry for like a year if I pawn it? put it into the store and then get it back out a year from now, no doubt. That's, that's, you know, that's just me, that's how I do it. 
a lot of dudes won't come up off their yeah. jewelry because they feel as though if uh, you know if they ain't got no jewelry, they can't get no checks. They don't look right. They don't. Me, I ain't, you know, I ain't never needed none of that to do nothing. So I'm good. I bring a lot of business to this whole strip. You know what I mean? And every every year I give away turkeys. A kind holiday gesture from one store in Dorchester. Antonio and Salde, a retail store, is raffling off 100 turkeys. We wanted to do something for the community. They're the ones that help us stay in business. And um, basically, we're just giving away turkey because we're in the holiday spirit. I give away turkeys to families who, who can't afford to put a turkey on their table. You don't have to come in here and buy nothing. You don't have to do no raffle or anything like that. You just come in here and if, if you need a turkey, I'm going to give you one. I'm doing some work at Dorchester High. I'm setting up a program called the DOT program, the Designers of Tomorrow, where I'm, I'm going to be turning out some of the hottest young designers in Boston in the years to come. And they're embracing me over there, and I feel good about that. Um, I, I talk to kids at youth outreach programs, kids that come out of, out of, out of uh, DYS, men that come out, of, come out of jail in prison. I've been gave jobs. I've been gave dudes that come out of prison in jail, giving them clothes and things like that. Um, I talk to kids about AIDS prevention. I got 200 kids in the city of Boston and, and, and some of the local high schools. Now you might think that 200 is not a lot, but considering the kids that don't get tested, it is a lot. And I, you know, I brought them to the table and, and, and got these kids to go out and practice safe sex. So to me, me being a father of five girls, yeah, that's right, five girls. I got five little girls. I gotta be concerned about things like that. And I gotta be concerned about the community. And I gotta be concerned about the right thing to do because I'm not one of those dudes that think it can't happen to you. You can't always, you gotta remember, like keeping it real, like Dave Chappelle said, sometimes keeping it real goes bad. And are you really keeping it real? Mm -hmm. For the women right now, we got some new um, crop pea coats. We got these cotton and fur coats that's real hot. The girls are buying right now, gauchos. Um, my little girls, two of my little girls coming in. Thanks, 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 buddy. Thank you. What's the matter? Daddy's doing an interview. Say hi to the people. <laughs> yeah, let me go. Um, Y'all go back there and take your coats off. Here, Gigi. Here, Gigi. Go back there and sit down. I'll be right back there as soon as I finish. Okay. <laughs> 